bro. I'm hungry, bro. This is the Flying Dutchman. Are you gonna try it or no? No, you can try it. It's a mix. A mix? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna try the Neapolitan shake. Basically everything put together. Taste test. I got the regular burger. It just tastes like ice cream. <laughs> I got a, a double double and regular fries. Emmanuel's not fun. He never <laughs> wants to try new foods, ever. Mm -hmm. He's so scared of everything. Wow. Oh, wow. Your classic order is good. Where can I put that? So it's double patty, basically the double double with cheese, and then the onion is what's the bun. Let's see. Tastes good. It's really cheesy, but I think that's what's making it. Can you pass me the animal bread? their spread onion and cheese on fries now this right here is game changer for those who love cheese fries I just got regular fries mm. Mm. wow we didn't like in and out when we first moved here I mean we it's not that we didn't like it we didn't think it was all that once we ate it a few times though it's all that. We ended up saying this is probably the best fast food burger joint out of Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, Culver's. Back home, there's a place called Culver's. And that's like their... In and out. Yeah, like they're in and out. It doesn't even come close. It doesn't. When we tried it again... And we used to love Culver's. Yeah. We used to love them, but nowhere near this they're known for their butter burgers right yep but the last time we tried it, it tastes like ass, ass. <laughs> it even smelled like ass like as soon as emmanuel was given his order in the car it stank so bad <laughs> fire shout out to in and out my god I'm not sure why they're not nationwide. They're only on the West Coast as far as I know. Some Southern states, but shout out to In-N-Out. Mm -hmm. I worked up an appetite after. The stomach. <laughs> after the cast. My son's gonna be eating this really soon. We're about a week and a half away from our due date, so. Yeah, our due date is November 8th. My God, it's currently October 28th or 9th. And uh, we're both excited, we're anxious, waiting for him. I'm glad we got through this week. We thought he was coming this week, kinda. She 
she's three centimeters dilated already. Yeah. And her cervix is really softening up. So the doctor keeps telling us, like, literally any day now. Any day. It could be tonight. I denied the last cervical check. Mm hmm. I'm like, this might be a surprise. <laughs> I wanted to make it past Halloween. If I can make it past Halloween. She's good. Yeah. We want him for November, so. It looks like that. Yeah, it looks like I am gonna hit it. But, you never know. Yeah, you still never know. Is it 38 or 39 weeks? 38. Mm -hmm. So, a little more than 38. She's actually 38 in like <laughs> three days. But, the baby can come now. It can come next week. It can come now. We had a good talk. He's coming November. <laughs> mm hmm What else? Her parents already bought their tickets to come. Yeah. My side of the family bought their tickets. <clears throat> yep. Now we're just waiting for his side. Mm-hmm. His side's coming in pieces though, like one after another. I forgot to move it. Crap. Maybe not. I think his parents are fresh. What? Mm -hmm. Your parents are coming first. Mm-hmm. And uh And then your sisters. Is Isra coming? With your he's sister? in Africa. <clears throat> uh, I don't know though. I don't know if he's coming now or after. Last I heard, he wanted to like, come from Africa, but that was if the baby was already here and Sophie was here. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Good. I don't know if it's good or if I'm hungry. It's good. But we're hungry. I wonder who came up with this. Like people who don't eat bread? Like keto? Mm-hmm. Well, keto people. That, that keto is keto. Diet. That's like a keto diet. Mm-mm. I think they eat bread too. Nope. All cheese and meat and all that. Yeah, this is actually good. I think it was cheap. The fries is pretty much your bread. Yeah. And did you guys know that each blood type has like their own diet that they're supposed to follow? And mine doesn't allow french fries. Well, potatoes, but I love potato. Like, I love potato. Yeah, love is even too low of a word. She sleeps on a potato. <laughs> I'm shaped like a potato. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> hmm. Well, baby's coming. So we're not going anywhere far anymore. We're not yeah. going anywhere. We have to be there for some hours. We're literally home, working, eating, working, eating, sleeping, watching movies. Yeah, my sister makes fun of me. She says all I do is eat and sleep. Mm-hmm. And it's very true. <laughs> they say we're not going to sleep anymore. That's what everybody says, but we don't know. So I'm sleeping. I'm not even gonna fight it. That baby's sleeping too. 
they were shake a good amount. You can have it right in this one. Mm -mm -mm. For now, we mainly drive around in the truck because the truck has the suitcase, the car seat, and the car seat, and the stroller. And the stroller. It's baby ready. Yeah. We don't have the diaper bag in here yet, though. I don't think we'll need. We're gonna do that afterwards. I'm done. That looks good. Very good. Very satisfying. So five guys are in now. Wow. <clears throat> five guys. No. Mm -hmm. Five guys got the best burger. Flat out. It's too expensive though. Too pricey and very greasy. How much is it for one? Like 15 bucks. We spent close to 40 bucks just a meal, me and you. Yeah, their burgers are like 15 bucks, 13 something. Really? They're expensive. Yeah. I know they're expensive, but I thought it was more. That's so why we don't go. We were sharing. It's because <laughs> even, though, even though Five Guys has a better burger, at the end of the day, In N Out's burger levels with it because their burger is really good as well. I'm not saying it's not. Their burger's right there. It's finger licking good. And <laughs> I just spit. <laughs> she just spit on me. In and out burgers very good. Their fries are very good. In and out, the thing, the reason why we come to In and Out more besides that it's really good, is that it's very cheap. For one meal you can get your burger, your fries, and a drink, maybe less than ten bucks. Well, like right not if you're eating with the manual. If you're taking manual out to eat. What? He is an expensive man to take him out to eat. I like he, to eat. He orders himself like two to three meals. Yeah, but our receipt right now said we spent twenty one bucks, and we got a lot. We got a. I got my own double double. Yeah. She got her deluxe thingy. I got, got animal a double, fries. Double, the flying Dutchman wrapped in onion. Coke and a shake. Extra fry for me his animal fries one coke and a shake and only 21 21 bucks yeah 21.93 so. <clears throat> we would have got that at five guys we just spent 45 dollars <clears throat> oh no more because of the shake so and your drink. at the end of the day five guys burger is better however in and out burger is really good and the price that's what kind of evens up but actually that's what makes in and out better is the fact that it's really good and the fact that it's cheaper but five guys' burger is the best i don't know i think their fries are a little too greasy for me the burger though. we're talking about the burger yeah but you said their fries are really good and i'm like a big fry girl and a cup of water free <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well that's the end of this update. We'll see you soon. We're about two weeks away. Should we do like more secret menu stuff? Like, wait. Yeah, we should go to Taco Bell. Taco Bell owes us a freaking taco. They gave me a tortilla. So I always, <laughs> I always order. A blank tortilla. <laughs> I always order a box, that Cravings Deal box. They used to be $5. Now they're 10 and mm -hmm. every time I order my box, eleven ninety five. Eleven ninety five. Every box is different, though. That box in particular that I get now is eleven ninety five. But there's other boxes that they they charge, you know, up and down. But anyway, I always order two more soft shell tacos with the box. This time I only got one more soft shell taco, so I got the box plus the one so soft shell taco. We get home, I open the soft shell, mm -hmm. and it's just a tortilla. 
she starts cracking up. He was so sad. He just opened it. That's my kept favorite. Staring at it. The soft shell tacos are my favorite. That's the fi like if if I only had to get one thing from there, it'd be soft shell tacos. So that was a bummer. That was a bummer, man. That and, and I mean, I mean, I just took the L. She ended up calling, fought for it. They said, "Come and get a free uh, taco whenever." I did a little Karen move. I accepted the L. Taco Bell's known to do that. I told her, every Taco Bell I go to, even back home in Wisconsin, they all, like, it's always a given. Something's gonna happen. It's rare that you get your order right, but they do. They do get your order right, but there's always a bigger chance than anywhere else that they jack up your order with like a hard shell, a soft shell when you order the hard shell no meat in your taco Dude, something. i was dying of laughter it was the funniest thing i he tell her just laid it out flat and i'm over here eating like my tuna and i look and i'm like what is that it was just a like a tortilla and i'm like dude dude it sucked i was really disappointed but I thought it was only that Taco Bell. Every time he goes to that Taco Bell, they mess up his order. Every single time. It's not just that one. It's Taco Bell in general, but I, I always tell you, I bet you it's part of their marketing. I always tell them, I'm like, this has to be some kind of marketing thing to jack up people's orders to come back or to get mad at. Because Taco Bell's so good, you go back anyway. So. <clears throat> the guy said to just ask for Ricardo. Ricardo. And he'll give us... A free taco. A free taco. So, we'll see you next time we go back there. Yeah. We'll see if we keep doing this. This is kind of fun trying new food. Shout but, out to Rylan Adams. Oh, yeah. We saw this because of Shane and Rylan. Well, it's Rylan's. He's always eating good stuff. He's always they showing. They both are, actually. Yeah, but I think Rylan's the sip or whatever. Mm. I think that's what it's called. Well, He's Shane, always doing secret menus. We saw a video on Shane and he did all this like hot Cheeto stuff. Oof. I wouldn't do that stuff. I, I don't would. like mixing stuff like that. I love it. But I'll do like secret menu stuff. Yeah, secret menu. But menus. you have to eat it too. You don't. Well, this is secret. I'm... Look at that. Like he's not even drinking a shake. I am. He didn't try. There was more burgers that you can try. Mm -hmm. But he didn't try them. We will though. <clears throat> Next stop maybe. Maybe Taco Bell. I don't know if Taco Bell has secret menus. KFC. We could. No. Chick fil A. Chick fil A does. Chick fil A does? Yes, they do. They have secret menu stuff, but it's weird because it's just. Well, I mean, I was going to say it's weird because it's just their whatever they have. They just mix it up differently, which is what they just did. I know, like, Burger King does. It's not like they had different stuff to choose. You literally just got a burger without buns. Yeah, there's like a burger too that you can. Well, it's not even a burger, I guess. But it would be basically the burger without the patty. But it has the spread and the veggies inside of it. Yep. This is weird what people eat, right? Or like, you know how people do the... I'll order what the person in front of me ordered? Oh, yeah. Would you be scared to do that one? No, not if it's a place I like. Like here, it's going to be a burger. It's just, I don't know yeah, if it's going to be a double. Yeah, here it's safe. That's why I like to do Taco it. Taco Bell maybe a little different because there's there's a, their menu is a lot bigger but i'm pretty sure everything's pretty good um <clears throat> we'll have to try it somewhere okay so this is gonna be our in and out we'll do a weekly thing. secret menu in and out secret menu so shout out to in and out okay so maybe next time we'll i don't know if we'll have a baby yet yeah we might have a little monkey right here Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Peace. We'll see. Bye.